be a good idea to get a horse first. I've got a horse. Where'd you steal him? I didn't steal him, Doctor. Honest. Don't you remember the little cold doc? Oh, yeah, the one that had the bad leg. I thought he died. He didn't die, Doctor, and he's the best horse in the world. You know, now, that could be a matter of opinion. I know it, Doctor. I know he's the best horse in the world. <laughs> You've known me a long time, Doctor. I've known you since you were one second old, and don't tell me how old you are now. I'm getting age conscious. You could at least look at him, Doctor. Well, all right, I'll take a look at him as soon as I take care of my last patient. Come on here, War Eagle. Where is this paragon of horse flesh? You won't tell anybody, Doc, will you? First glance, Mike, I'd say you've got yourself a whole lot of horse. Right four leg, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Whoa. Easy, boy, easy. You don't have to be scared of anything. Oh, now, oh. Walk him a few paces, Mike. Come on, boy. Right down there. Oh, boy. Bring him back. How did you mend it? I packed it in mud, a few dry leaves, and I did a lot of praying. If I ever break a leg, I'll send for you. Do you mean he can run? I don't know. You want to try him? Yes, sir. That leg seems sound enough, but if he hurts it again, I'm afraid he'll have to be destroyed. It's your decision, boy. I have very good faith, doctor. Let's see if he can run. Well, as we certainly can't run him up here. First thing we'll have to do is find a level piece of ground. As long as I'm up here, might as well look at your animals, huh? If my figures are correct, and they probably aren't because I was never very good at arithmetic, that line should be 440 yards from where we started. And I might add, it's the longest quarter of a mile I've ever traveled in my life. Can we run Pueblo tomorrow morning, Doctor? Sure. What time? Father Walsh likes his breakfast at 8. Would 6 o'clock be all right? 6 o'clock? Why do these things happen to me? Do you feel all right, Doctor? I feel fine. I'll see you at 6 o'clock. Yes, sir. If I live that long...
Hey, Mike, you've got your shirt on backwards. Yes, sir, I know. It's Friday. What's Friday got to do with it? To remind me to give the father's fish on Friday. Well, that makes sense. All right, now run him easy this first time. A hundred yards is enough. Then bring him back. Are you worried, doctor? Well, why should I worry? It's not my horse. You ought to start going to church, doctor. You've got to have a little more faith. Nah, don't say that out in public, Mike. Some of my patients might be listening. Go ahead, run him. said anything about shooting him. I was thinking of shooting myself if I ever get up this early again. You take him back to the starting line, and when I shoot off the gun, turn him loose. But don't press him. Oh, boy. statement. I got him in 26 and a half seconds. Is that bad? Well, uh, were you pressing him, Mike? No, sir. I was holding him in. Is he a good runner, Doc? Well, he may be, but I wouldn't want to say yes or no until I see him run against another horse. And how are we going to arrange that? Tony Eagle's got a horse. Is he any good? Tony says he is. Well, you have Tony and his horse here the first thing tomorrow morning and tell him to dig you up a saddle. Yes, sir. Tony. <laughs> 